Tippin says he got a tip, not from a pharmacist, but a veterinarian. And in his desperation, he turned from people medicine to dog medicine, specifically fimbindazole, or what you give a dog when it has worms. Yeah, truth is stranger than fiction, you know? Just three months later, <laughs> Tippin says his cancer was gone. I'm usually skeptical. And I was, and maybe still am, about uh, this one. But there's, there's a lot of, there's an interesting background to this. Cancer researchers like Stephen Prescott are skeptical, but they also are not dismissing this anti-parasitic's potential. He says Tippins is not the first person to potentially benefit, and maybe not the last. Scientists at many credible places have done work on this for years. But was it the dog dewormer, or was it something else? Tippins took the dog medicine with daily vitamin E supplements and CBD oil. He was also taking an experimental cancer-fighting drug. But Tippins says out of the 1,100 patients on that clinical trial, he was the only one cleared of cancer. Tippins says he was saved by the dog dewormer, and he plans to take it for the rest of his life. Oh, my insurance company spent $1.2 million on me with traditional means before I switched to a $5 a week medicine that actually saved me. Prescott says he's now working with Tippins to organize a case study. We're going to do it and see if we can confirm that uh, in a very rigorous or a clinical study sort of way that these patients had that kind of response. As for Tippins, I've got now over 40 success stories other than me. He's sharing his story on an online blog that has already been read more than 100,000 times. Most of the feedback positive or curious. Some, though, accuse Tippins of giving cancer patients false hope. <sighs> How do I answer that? I mean, if I've saved one other person other than me, it's worth it to me. All we know for sure is that Joe Tippins is alive. In time, perhaps we'll also know if this medicine made for man's best friend might also be man's newest cancer cure. Fascinating. You know, when you're in the fight for your life, you don't care.